What is the meaning of life? I, I see war, I see depression, I see cruelty, I see pollution. What is the meaning of life? It is happiness, strength, and health. Happiness, health, and strength form the golden trio to a fulfilling life. Even the coldest person can teach us heartwarming lessons that transform us forever. Embrace these keys to unlock joy and remember that every encounter can offer a valuable learning experience. Be open to the wisdom around you and let these powerful forces shape your path to happiness. Keep growing and keep on glowing, for it's within our reach to lead a truly enriched life. Use your phone, eat all you want, drink all you want, etc. But go into the cold shower. If you take a couple of minutes and you make sure all the body adapts to the cold, because you know, you are very warm. You're warm like a hot dog right? In the, when you wake up. I go directly <laughs> straight to the cold and, and, and get the biggest of reactions on my body. And within 30 seconds or something, uh, I'm completely not feeling the cold anymore. But what the importance of that in the morning is that you wake up your vascular system. And your vascular system is like two and a half times the world around in the length of the veins, arteries and capillaries. Everybody has it. And it contains uh, millions of little muscles. And they are trained if you go in, uh, and adapt to a cold shower a day. And that, uh, and that way your vascular system is optimized and then your heart doesn't need to pump so much because all these millions of little muscles, they help the blood flow go through. It's one closed system and, uh, and the originator is the heart. Indeed, activating your vascular system can make you feel completely revitalized. Just one cold shower a day can awaken your body and your mind, setting the stage for a new lifestyle. Embrace this invigorating habit and discover a refreshing energy that fuels your day. Taking the plunge may be challenging at first, but as you adapt, you'll uncover an inner strength and resilience. Dive into this simple yet powerful practice and experience life on a whole new level. What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is going to go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. What, uh, uh, what happens more is that the blood flow runs much better through the system. Mm. The nutrients, vitamins and minerals and oxygen, they get better to the cells. So oh, nice. it produces more energy. That's why everybody feels so energized directly after the cold shower. Because the system is getting better into feeding all the cells of ours, which makes up molecules, which is energy. You feel more energy. A cold shower has the power to change your entire day. I love the way that sentence rolls off the tongue. As the icy water cascades over you, stress melts away, leaving you feeling renewed and focused. Your immune system grows stronger, ready to tackle any challenge, while your blood flows freely throughout your body, nourishing every cell. Embrace the invigorating chill and witness the transformation as your days become brighter and more energized. Unleash the potential within you by stepping into that cold and watch your life flourish. The power of the mind is amazing. To be able to make my skin temperature not going down while ice water gets on the skin just by using the mind. And that means we are able to make stress go away just by using our mind. And this is the result after so much training and exposing myself into, into the cold that I've learned to awaken direct connections in the brain that enables me just by thought to make the difference in my body. And that stress could be emotional, physical, bacterial, virus stress, uh, mental stress, daily stress, stress and congestions, whatever, you know, stress is stress. And uh, you are able just by using your mind to deal with that type or any type of stress. Mm. The, uh, oxidative, you got oxidative stress and hormetic stress. Oxidative stress is negative. Uh, uh, that means that 
things you cannot handle and they get into the cell mechanisms and they uh, have an absolute negative uh, influence on uh, the cell uh, mechanisms and the mechanics and the telomeres, the longevity, the cell division, the, the DNA and it uh, produces wrong genome expressions which makes you sick or even cancer in the end. So it all uh, stress is like an attack on our healthy mechanisms. And if we learn how to deal with stress, we, uh, the, the healthy mechanisms stay healthy. Yeah, you know, if, uh, every time when you go into a cold shower, and uh, you go into discomfort, <laughs> you learn to deal with the stress mechanisms inside the brain. And when you really need them, then you know how to connect and make yourself from the inside. You got from the outside, you don't see anything. But from the inside, suddenly you become very strong because you are regulating the hormones, the adrenal axis. And the adrenal axis is uh, able to get you in an altered consciousness and physical power. And then you are more than what we think we are. That is logical only. Only we never go into discomfort, so we don't know when something happens or something very severe or war situations. We haven't trained for that. So going into the cold, I, I tell everybody the, the cold and then the ice water, really, it, it brings you into natural condition of the mind to deal with stress and pain. Uh, uh, right now, there is a crisis in the world uh, with pain and painkillers. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't know how to deal with that. That is a, a and I, I, I've shown now recently in a brain scans how to tap into the pain center, which is the endocannabinoid system within our brain. It's in the brain stem, the deepest part of our brain. We don't no longer know how to deal with it. So. How much pain do you have to endure to neurologically connect with the pain center in order to bring pain through activation of opioids to a controlled level? Hey man, you will feel it naturally. It's once again one of those things they should teach people, pupils, uh, our kids, this in school, controlled. It's not about pain as we know it, like negative. Pain is a signal that you do not have the right connection yet. But part of the power of the mind is learning how to alleviate our own pain. Because painful situations will come in life and you better are prepared. Use your phone, eat all you want, drink all you want, etc but go into the cold shower because you need to will, you need to exercise your will before you go into the cold shower. And when you go into the cold shower and take on the stress and control it, then suddenly you feel so much more energy. You don't need the compensation anymore. You don't need that uh, bar, Snickers bar, and, uh, and the beer and uh, and, uh, wh wh and the telephone and, and all this. You don't need it because you feel good. We fundamentally do not feel well enough to not seek compensation. So when you go into a cold shower, you learn to handle and your mind, but also create a lot more energy through exercising the vascular system the cardiovascular system. It's not for nothing that the cardiovascular related uh, diseases is still killer number one in the Western world. And that is of not going into stress, not going into cold, wearing clothes all the time. So the system inside the physiology weakens. It's logical. And then you have to uh, compensate for that loss. And you don't know how, I tell you. The cold exercising is able to uh, invigorate our energy processes so much, we, we just feel great. I, I always say, get high on your own supply. 
our our minds in our society which is based on money and selling is being bombarded through advertising if you take this beer you are in heaven if you take this smoke you are so great with yourself we are built to be unconditionally okay we have to go back to the core we over abstracted our systemized money making uh, 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 ways of living and we are actually not dependent on them and i say all the technology all the system it's all great because it's part of the creative power of the mind but let's not forget that we actually do not need it uh, to the amount which is now happening and uh, get back and then you become even wealthier because then you are uh, not overwhelmed you're not sucked uh, uh, out there you are yourself and enjoying everything so much more. If I go into the cold water, then this worrying about that is over. That makes you go away of that what you are feeding. Because your energy is fully within yourself, clean, nice, there. We are loving beings if it comes to us unconditionally. We are in unconditional beings who are in love with it all. Then comes the stress and we don't know how to deal with it. And then uh, you are guilty, you are guilty, you are guilty, etc. cetera. No, we got to solve our uh, blockages inside. And uh, the cult really knows how to yeah. cut off whatever you got inside. And uh, uh, you got to be there. <clears throat> and the breathing, the breathing exercises, they are very good to regulate. I mean, you become very shallow in your breathing if you are angry, if you are blocked. But when you get into the deep breathing, you break the loop. And the loop is inside the head. And that in mind, neurology, if you go into deep breathing, suddenly goes into deeper parts of the brain. There is the feeling, and there is the being. Just being, no words, just being and you feed it with blood flow, doing deep breathing. Thus you break the loop. So cleanse yourself and you are open for love once again.